Aki is coming. We finally have an actual gameplay trailer. This was just dropped by Capcom just 11 minutes ago. We saw a first look at Aki at EVO 2023. They did her announcement trailer, but it was really just footage from the story mode, world tour mode, showing off a bit of the personality of the character and what a personality that is. But we finally have a first look at her gameplay with this trailer. I have never seen it. This is a first look for me. Let's go ahead and react to the trailer and then see if we can break down any of the gameplay that we see to get any insight into the character. You like Aki, Jojo? You like Aki? Okay, here we go. Time to work, time to work. When inhaled, Corian Merton blocks the gamma amino butyric acid receptors in the central nervous system, causing spasmodic muscle oh. contractions. Aki's a nerd. It's a work of art! It's perfect! What to do with you now? What? You're gonna stab him after so, poisoning him? Shall we put him out of his misery? <laughs> Hold up, I can't even get into the gameplay. This, she's psycho. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> that was next level, stabbing the body while he was already down. My man's is getting kicked while he's down. Master, it's a work of art. It's so master, is she referring to Fong here? I cannot believe they have her stabbing the dude after she, she poisoned him. There's no fixing her. There is no fixing her. Okay, turret combos, chain jabs. Was that a coward crouch? Okay, she's kind of lanky like Fong for sure. Oh. She creeps me out, man. <laughs> I got the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> she's creeping me out. Okay, poison whips. Wait a minute. Oh, no. What is she like? Fog mixed with scorpion. Oh, coward crouch. There it is. Holy crap. Oh, I like this costume, though. Oh, of course, she has to beat up on JP. EX slide just like Fong. Looks like it's at least projectile invincible. Coward crouch combo extension. Yep. Little poison bubble. Puts the cloud down kind of like Fong. I don't know if that extends her combos or not. Wow. The poison tendrils from the fingernails. They didn't show any of this off previously. Ooh. Wow, the animations are actually kind of ridiculous. Don't do that. She's killing people. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. Uh, Aki is actually murdering people here. <laughs> that was far more violent imagery than I really expected from a Street Fighter game. I'm actually surprised how far they went with the, uh, you know, off-kilter uh, poisonous murderer trope that they're doing here. But they really committed to the bit. So let's go ahead and see if we can actually learn something from the gameplay here. Okay, first move they show. Let's take a look-see here. What do they have for us? Looks like either this is a jab. Is this a stance change? Let's slow this down. No, it just looks like a regular jab. Target combo. Chaining light punches for sure. She gets three right there. Looks like it has really good range. Look at the range on this. Pretty sure that's just a crouching jab sequence. That might be her her sweep move. Instead of a sweep with kicks, it might be with punches. Looks like that's what she goes for for a knockdown. Don't think that's a special move. Maybe a stand medium kick. Good range poke there. Maybe a basic overhead. Chun Li is crouching right there. Anti air move. Not in a juggle state from this anti air. It looks like a launcher, but you notice here Chun Li is actually flipping out of this. So I don't believe this is actually going to lead to combos. Probably, maybe on counter hit. You know, Blanca's stand heavy kick on, not even punish counter on counter hit will hit above his head and give jungle combos. So potentially that might be an option here for Aki. But with this regular hit, Chun-Li just flips out. I wonder if this is supposed to be reminiscent 
of Fong standing heavy kick, he had the double knee. Uh, his legs didn't kick that high. He would just kind of approach with his knees. That was plus one on block. That was one of Fong's main pressure tools in Street Fighter V. Uh, he was a four-frame jab character, so you would just kind of trade with your three-frame after. So I don't know if this move will be plus on block as well, but I feel like this is what that is a reference to. Um, using the feet instead of the knees, though. Double hit right there. Potentially another target combo. Looks like a, maybe a stand fierce to a crouch fierce target combo. Which causes a juggle state. I wonder if you're going to be able to get combos from that. And then this posing. The animations are actually really clean with Aki. I'm actually thoroughly impressed. I did not think I would really find much to enjoy about this character. I'm creeped out. I'm definitely creeped out. She's actually legitimately creepy. Uh, not fake creepy like Jury. You know, Jury, I think, is very pandering in her style. Aha, look at me. You want to fix me? No, Aki is legitimately kind of like a villain right now. <laughs> I'm actually pretty impressed with how much they committed to the whole uh, poisonous murderer aspect. Look at this throw. Yeah, the animations are actually amazing in slow-mo. Look at this one. I couldn't even comprehend this when I watched this live. She just entangles you. Oh, not this one, the other one where she completely wraps around you. So wait, how many throws does she have? She demonstrated more than one. I think there's another throw that they show. So this is just a regular forward throw. And then this is her back throw. Yeah, swap sides here. So forward throw, back throw. I believe there's another similar throw animation they demonstrate later on poison okay so poison into the the tendrils like her fingernails extend with these poisonous tendril whips uh i'm not sure if that's supposed to be like a fleshy extension or some other uh mechanism that she cooked up here but poison cloud was fong's v skull one and in street fighter 5 that was not a actual projectile with a hitbox you you couldn't block it or anything but it didn't have a hitbox on it you would just phase right through it but if it touched you you would be put into the poison state which would slowly take away your life very very slowly it wasn't that relevant i mean it didn't make the difference in some matchups and some matches with fong but the the health was almost negligible to the point where like it wasn't worth trying to jump away from the fireball and avoid it you were better off just walking through it so that looks like this bubble here is setting up this similar kind of poison effect. And then she can extend that with her poison whip. And Chun Li is looking a little green after making contact with that bubble. Look at that. Look at the poison whips. I am so shocked they went with this design. And that is what scares me right there, or one of the few things that scares me. So look at what she does. She gets the knockdown from this far range, definitely a special move. And then she sets up the slide. So Fong had a slide move. It was a charge move in Street Fighter V, and it had upper body invincibility, and the EX version um, was also fully invincible to pretty much all strikes for a certain amount of frames, And but you could throw it if you were meaty with your throw, and it had some recovery, but it was very difficult to punish. Very slippery move, and even the regular slides could be used to phase through opponents and get through things that had invinci upper body invin invincibility on certain windows of the move, and here she goes into the slide. Chun is going into the Hazanshu to potentially go over maybe a bubble and approach. Slides right underneath that. Slides right past the Hazanshu. So you can see it has some amount of uh, invincibility or at least reducing your hurtbox to dodge moves. Gets to the other side. Whips Chun Li with the poison whip. And Chun Li, take a look for those last few frames. I, I think this is the poison status that they're hinting at here. It might just be the leftover animation from, from being hit by the move. But see how she is. Uh, all greened up, not looking too hot right there. Uh, that could be the poison being inflicted on her. Lays the bubble on the ground right there. That's interesting. That must be like the cloud move. So Fong, he could also lay the poison clouds down, and they would be persistent projectile hitboxes on the ground, which he could then approach behind and slide under to maybe set up cross-up setups or just apply pressure and, and walk towards the opponent with the coverage of the fireball. Kind of like Jury, but instead of the projectile moving on the ground, it would just stay still in one spot. So she sets out on the ground. Still has time to anti-air, though. And that is a juggle state. I wonder if this is a... This looks like a special move as well. She's using the poison whip here. And definitely looks like Chun-Li's in a special, a special juggle state right there. So 
Maybe she'll bounce off the, the cloud on the ground. There's also, once again, the slide, avoiding the projectile. I think this might be a follow-up from the slide. Could be a separate projectile, but look at this flip over. Multiple hits. Stab, 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 stab. That is interesting. One, two, three, four. She comes down, stabbing Chun Li up. <laughs> Quit slide. <laughs> look at this character. <laughs> oh, that looks annoying. Can she cancel this slide to different moves and, and bait you to punish her? Oh no. So I'm assuming this is one of her options out of the slide. And uh, it looks like one of those moves where if you attempt to punish it and attempt to punish the slide, she can commit to this lunging option to punish your attempted punish, but would be unsafe on a block. That's what I'm assuming this move would work like. Because there Chun-Li goes to try to clip her for doing the regular slide and gets clipped by the lunging punch instead. And then there is the main move. So it looks like this stance, this, this might be her coward crouch stance in general, her laying on the ground like that. I'm not sure if this is, must not be the slide. Let me compare the, the startup of the slide. So the slide itself is actually different, right? So here's the slide. She does start on her back, but she quickly goes to the other side and it's kind of on her stomach. But in this stance, she is definitely on her back. Or maybe she canceled the slide earlier to Coward Crouch. So it looks like Coward Crouch, her slide, it's all kind of tied together. Coward Crouch, to me, is the scariest move in the game. Uh, Fong could go into the Coward Crouch where he'd lean on the ground, and then he could he could cancel the slide, but he could also cancel to the, the double-hitting um, Coward Crouch extension, the two-hit kicks. That was plus on block. It led to combos on hit. And when he was in the Coward Crouch stance, it was almost impossible to hit him for a lot of the cast unless you had like a really strong low forward move. So I used to play a Balrog. That move would nullify almost the entirety of Balrog's toolkit. All of Balrog's moves would be low profiled by that coward crouch to kick, and that move gave me so many problems. Um, so I'm I'm having flashbacks right here, seeing that coward crouch come back in action because it would be the party starter for Fong's offense. And Fong actually had really good offense in Street Fighter Five. Um, so I'm wondering if this is going to be also similarly plus on block. She low profiles Chun Li's heavy kick there, gets in with the coward crouch, maybe gets a combo setup from there. Okay, so there's a grab option. So this was the other grab I was referring to. Wow, she has a lot of moves. I'm actually surprised by this. So she goes into that weird coward crouch slide animation, and she ends this with this grab. Look at this grab here. So does she have a command grab option out of this as well? Coward crouch or command grab mix? I'm not liking how this poison is uh, is hitting right now. I'm I'm scared. I'm scared. Wow. <laughs> Rewatching this trailer. There's a lot of options. This is kind of like a die punch. She's altering her trajectory. Jump forward, and then she kind of cuts down with those poison fingernails into the super here. Very interesting. Does she have a die punch? Fong was given also an air dash move in the end seasons of Street Fighter V where he could kind of flap his wings and fly around to make his air approach a little bit more unpredictable. So I wonder if that's what they're, they're hinting at here. I like this costume. This one looks cool. Okay, so EX Projectile. Look, let's look at the sequence here. They're, they're trying to tap into the, the JP, uh, you know, fears and... and and, uh, you know, the, the upset community here and trying to show some counterplay. So this is EX Fireball, right? JP is doing OD Fireball. Let me make sure I see that correctly. Oh, it might be regular Fireball. So JP is doing Fireball. She does OD Bubble here, which looks like one of her Fireballs. Slides into Approach. Yes, the two hit Bubble hits. She gets a target combo. So the slide can just approach with the Fireball um, on top of her. And then look at that launches. I'm assuming you're going to have to get a combo extension here. They're not showing us the full picture here. But this is definitely a juggle state. We'll have to see what she gets after that. And JP has that similar uh, cloudy outline upon him there. EX slide, of course, projectile invincible. JP goes for the command grab on the other side. EX jump. So this jump is also a special move. I don't I think that's that might be the extension from the slide. No, it must be a separate move. 
Looks like she did another EX move after recovering from this one. Not sure if it's an extension or not, but look at that. Gets on over. And then into like a hooligan-style grab. Different than the other one we saw, which was from the, the ground previously on Chun-Li. Straight murder, JP. <laughs> she killed him. <laughs> JP's dead. Street Fighter community rejoices. Launch kick right there. Coward crouch move. Extension. Jab, uh, jab. jab. Bubble swing. Get the poison going. So she lays down the cloud here. JP teleports over it. So yes, you do see the poison clouds on the ground. I'm not sure if that'll be a persistent hitbox or if that will just activate the poison effect. But she's definitely having a similar me mechanic here to Fong. And this is just the counter DI into the level three. Or not into level three. Sorry, what does she do here? The level two. Wow. Whipping them with the fingernails. Look at that. Interesting design. I am so much more impressed with this design now that I've seen the gameplay compared to what we saw at Evo at the World Tour. I feel like they should have had this trailer ready. Oh, look at this sequence. Okay. Throws a projectile out. Drive Rush is in behind. So she has projectile into Drive Rush. That is a strong tool to have. If you do, can do projectile and Drive Rush behind it, uh, you are, you know, that is a privilege to have. Gets past the projectiles from JP. Double heavy kick hit right there into the combo. Drive Rush extension. Does the heavy kick. The OD version of whatever that uh, poison fingernail whip is. Looks like that also gives a follow-up. So maybe the EX version of this move gives you a combo extension. Pulls him in. And then the combo's still going. Jab, jab, jab. Into, that's definitely got to be a special move. We saw that as an anti-air earlier. Into the level three. Aki. Okay. Aki, I am impressed. I'm sorry, I wasn't familiar, familiar with your game. I am thoroughly impressed. And of course, with, with each one of these uh, trailer announcements for the new characters for Street Fighter VI, there's an accompanying PlayStation blog post, which covers more details about the character to give some clues at, as to what we actually just witnessed. So they talk a bit about the background of the character, her style, and talk a bit about the moves here. So, like Fong, once Aki poisons an enemy, their vitality will slowly deplete as long as the effect remains. If Aki gets hit, the poison will dissipate. From a distance, she can use Serpent Lash, sending her nails flying for like a chain, poisoning enemies she hits. So that was the special move we saw where she sent out the, the purple nails to stab the opponent. The OD version of Serpent Lash hooks onto enemies, allowing Aki to hop forward to close the distance. And we saw there with the clip against JP that she was able to continue the combo there. When she strikes an opponent who was already poisoned with moves like Serpent Lash, a toxic blossom triggers where the resulting explosion can open enemies up to follow up attacks. Uh, yeah, there we go. We saw the, the, uh, the toxic blossom trigger. So when she strikes an opponent who was already poisoned. Okay, so the poison state actually influences the combo routes, it looks like. So if they're not already po poisoned, the OD version of Serpent Lash is not going to give the co combo follow up. But if you are poisoned, then it becomes dangerous to be hit because you get new combos. So I like that idea because I think the poison mechanic in Street Fighter V, like I said, it made a difference sometimes to have the life trickle away, but it happened so slowly in such a high damage game that it didn't have much of an impact on, on decision making. But this actually increases the, the threat level, right? If you are poisoned, the next hit will actually do more damage because of this, this toxic blossom mechanic. So I like that idea a lot. Her fireball nightshade pulse sends a bubble forward that also poisons enemies on hit. She can strike the bubble with nightshade chaser to pop it in advance, increasing the area of effect. Okay, so you can pop the bubble to unleash the poison. Aki can also use the orchid spring to place a puddle of poison in front of her, which affects opponents who step in it. Okay, so like I mentioned, the puddle of poison, you can lay it on the ground. I'm not sure if that means it has a hitbox, but it sounds like what they're saying is this will just be something that triggers the poison effect, not have a hitbox. So Bong's cloud actually had a hitbox on it. So, you know, he could do things like uh, command dash through it and push you back into it and, and do uh, fake, or not fake, but 50-50 setups, left-right mix-ups. He can either go for a real cross-up or a fake cross-up and mix you up with that. Sounds like they're not going with that route with Aki, but instead it'll, that will be the mechanic that actually triggers the poison effects. 
Snakes always lurk where their prey can't see them. Aki can use Cruel fl Fate to flip backwards towards enemies, sending her nails to strike from above. Like a contortionist, she can instantly coil to the ground and under enemies with Snake Step. So Cruel Fate is the flip that we saw where she, she strikes down from above, and it sounds like Snake Step is the command dash on the ground. Aki takes this even further with Sinister Slide. Ooh, wait a minute. So there's a Snake Step. Instantly coil to the ground and under enemies with Snake Step. So I'm not sure which extension that is, but the Sinister Slide is the slide. She can slither from full screen to avoid threats while stalking forward. From Sinister Slide, she can perform three actions. Venomous Fang sees her leaping forward to poison enemies. We saw that when Chun-Li tried to press Crouching Meeting Pick to interrupt it. She lunged at Chun-Li. Uh, heel Strike starts combos on a successful hit. I'm guessing Heel Strike is like the double kick like Fong had. And Entrapment wraps her body around enemies to constrict them. Entrapment has me worried. So do they have a mix-up between... Uh, the double kick, heel strike, and a command grab. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm actually scared here. Aki's level one super deadly implication launches enemies in the air. Uh, that's cool. Yeah, we don't need a description of the supers. They do damage. They do damage. And they look cool. So she will be releasing September 27th. So coming in about 27 days from right now. So releasing very soon. And I like her alternate costume. I, I kind of like it more than the default, to be quite honest. But overall, interesting character. To be quite honest, I wasn't really feeling Aki when I, we got her uh, the first look at her in the World Tour. I was like, okay, they're going kind of with the uh, the crazy lady trope again, whatever. But they went so far with it that I'm actually impressed. She legitimately is disturbing. The fact that she poisoned that guy in the intro and started stabbing his body, and in her moves, she literally just murders you. Um, I'm kind of a fan now. I'm scared of how she's going to play. I'm scared of getting mixed by her, but I'll be trying her out for sure when she releases, and I'm impressed. Good, good job, Capcom. Uh, that said, let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you're looking forward to Aki, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.